My husband and I serve in Papua, Indonesia, and my husband teaches at a seminary here. We're Chico and Denise Schlonecker, serving in Condern, Germany at Black Forest Academy as dorm parents. We're responsible for 20 young men and women in high school in the dorm. Some experiences that, the, that these students have had with their parents is that their parents have focused so much on ministry that they've neglected their kids and their kids are a bit angry about that and turned off by it. And it's been a, a very good reminder, a sad reminder for us that we can't sacrifice our kids on the altar of ministry. We want our kids to see that ministry isn't just telling people about Jesus. Ministry is living your life every day and showing them God's love. And that's something that we can really practically do here in the dorm. As we inevitably face the different challenges of life overseas, of life as missionaries, of a year with a pandemic, our own faith is tried. And this is an opportunity for the Lord to work in us and to deepen us. And that deeply benefits our children because one of the greatest gifts that we can give them is our own vulnerable hearts seeking the Lord through the difficulties. Whenever we have a medical need or an educational need, we have to leave not only our city, but often our country. And during a pandemic, that's even harder because the nearby countries are closed to tourists. So over time, the needs stack up and what you might in the USA get um, relief from by just checking in with your local doctor to find out if something is a problem. For us, that means taking your entire family to another country and possibly right now during a pandemic, going back to America. One of the things we prayed for with our kids, because when we told them we were moving to Germany, you can imagine the excitement that they had. No, they were downright angry at us and at God for uprooting them and moving them to another country. And we very specifically together as a couple prayed that God would change their hearts. And in some ways, God had to change our hearts as parents as well. And by his grace and infinite wisdom, by the time we got here, they were excited to be here. I think another challenge that came um, just from being here was Christmas time, we were away from family. Uh, and that was the first time for, for me, it was the first time for my husband and the first time for all of our kids to be away from extended family like that at the holidays. And so we kept some traditions while making room for others. And I think that was good for our kids to see that different can still be fun and different can still be good. Pray for missionary families as the parents are guiding the kids through the emotional challenges of lives that are in many ways more raw than they are back in the U.S. Our kids encounter here a level of poverty that they never saw in America. They um, face life and death in a way that most children in the U.S. don't have to be exposed to. And we have to process that with them and help them to feel whatever they need to feel to grieve it um, and, and to talk through the hope that we have in the Lord. Pray for families to be vibrant with love and joy, that there's a sense of adventure um, and beauty in the midst of really difficult things. <laughs>